It's been nine years since Superstorm Sandy ravaged coastlines, causing flooding and extensive damage in our area. The storm cost New Jersey more than $30 billion. CBS 2's Meg Baker has a look back at the recovery along the Jersey Shore. In 2012, the ocean overpowered the land, creating an inlet in Maniloking. Waves met the Barnegat Bay, slicing through the barrier island. My home ended up in the bay. Chopper 2 footage from the time shows homes that looked like heaps of debris. Route 35 over there had about five feet of sand on it. Uh, it, was, it was a mess. It was, uh, and people were very, very, very discouraged, very scared for their futures. My wife had prepared. Uh, food and preparations for yeah. people returning. Wow. Little did we know that people were not going to be returning. We lost, disappeared 40 homes overnight, 60 altogether collapsed, and the rest of it was 100% everybody was damaged. Some lots remain empty today, but most rebuilt. Ten plus million dollar homes now cover the beachfront of Maniloking. A steel wall was put in to literally hold the beach in place. A few miles south, Ortley Beach was known as Ground Zero. Sand piled up inside homes. Protective dunes now stand 22 feet high. And all hell broke loose. It looked like a war zone. And people built back higher, better, stronger. Um, if you drive around the uh, Ortley Beach area, you'll see a lot of the homes are elevated 8 to 10 feet. In Monmouth County, water sat inland on the streets of Belmar. A kayaker surveyed the damage the day after. Matt Doherty was mayor then. That entire night, we just were busy going around house to house, rescuing people, getting people out. What he remembers most is people coming together to help each other. It's one of those uh, times to, to reflect on and, and think about, um, and hopefully it never happens again. Shore residents I spoke with said there was no way they were going to leave this area. Not even Sandy could chase them away. It's a lifestyle. The area is beautiful now, and it's very, very, very desirable. People want to be here. It's the Jersey Shore. Most say the risk is worth the everyday reward of taking a walk by the beach. In Belmar, New Jersey, Meg Baker, CBS 2 News. The Army Corps of Engineers is due back in that area next year. Ortley Beach will get more sand to widen the beaches and shore up some of the soft spots where the ocean continues to breach.